submit to the clinch. David Morrell has masterfully blended the Cuban amateur boxing style with the relentless and ferocious tactics of professional boxing, currently making him one of the most dangerous fighters in the 168-pound division. At just 25 years old, Morrell's punches are extremely powerful and his defense is very strong. Today, we'll talk about the future boxing superstar David Morrell's difficult life in Cuba and his bright future in the USA. Osvari David Morrell was born on January 18, 1998 in the city of Santa Clara, Cuba. In his family, Morel has his mother and a younger brother. The Morel family lived in poverty. Like any Cuban child, David started boxing with homemade gloves on the streets before joining a boxing gym at the age of nine. As a teenager, he became the Cuban champion in the 81 kilograms category several times and participated in the Youth World Championship held in St. Petersburg in 2016. There in the 81 kilogram weight class, he made it to the finals where he faced Ukrainian Roman Savitsky. Right from the start of the fight, Morel begins to launch relentless attacks on his opponent. In the second round, with Savitsky's nose broken, he completely loses control of the fight to the Cuban. Thus, leaving the ring with a gold medal, Morel continues to dominate in the same manner in professional boxing. After moving up to compete among adults, Morel could not surpass Julio La Cruz in the 81 kilograms category. Deciding to pursue a career in professional boxing, he defected from Cuba by boat in 2019. After a challenging journey through Mexico to the United States, Morel settled in Minneapolis, where he was taken under the wing of trainers Sankara and Adonis Frazier, who began preparing him for a professional boxing career. Determined to earn significant money in professional boxing to relocate his mother and brother from Cuba, Morel began his career in August 2019, stunningly knocking out his compatriot Yendris Rodriguez in the first minute of their fight. Later that year, in his second fight, Morel faced the highly experienced American Quinton Rankin, who had only narrowly lost to former world champion Chad Dawson. Despite just transitioning from amateur boxing, where his technique had not yet fully matured, Morel leveraged his physical superiority to start dominating his opponent with pressure. Chad Dawson, at the end of June, thinking, and you also look at the Eastern European School of Thinking, they can move their amateurs. After Rankin was knocked down twice within two rounds, the referee decides to stop the fight. And an uppercut down goes! The following year, Morel's promoter secures him a fight for the WBA interim title in the 168-pound weight class, despite it being only his third professional match. His opponent is the African boxer Lennox Allen, who had fought 22 bouts in his career and won all of them. Unintimidated by his experienced opponent, Morel takes control of the fight right from the first minute. Rounds. He's really never been past three rounds uh, in his life. Um, look at this fuselage right as well, you know, he's very accurate, especially when he punches to the ball. Back in the 80s and uh, Fernando Vargas, who won it in his 50s. Thus, achieving victory with clear dominance, he fights through all 12 rounds in only his third professional bout. Show David O. Morel Jr. At the end of 2020, Morel faces another experienced boxer, Mike Gavronsky. From the start of the fight, Morel's Aggressive pressure is too much for Gavronsky, who goes down after a series of direct hits. Despite Gavronsky bravely getting back up and heading into a break, Morel tries to knock him down again. However, in the second round, Gavronsky manages to stay on his feet without fault. Shot, uppercut with the same hand. Put this fight on three weeks' notice. So, you know, it's uh, very... In the first round, but in one of those fights, it was the opponent who did the knocking out. Wilson, upsetting Angel Barrientes. Yet, with the referee deciding that Gavronsky had taken enough punishment, the fight is stopped in the third round. 
Following this fight, the WBA elevates Morel to the status of a full champion. Thus, having become a world champion in only his fourth professional fight, Morel defends his title for the first time against Mexican Mario Cazares in the summer of 2021. This event was one of the first boxing nights to welcome back spectators following the pandemic. Having never tasted defeat in his career, Cazares starts the fight with confidence. On Morel, very quickly, his ability to He's not a big puncher, but we're going to see what that can, and then he will tie you up. He will, he's going to get shot. However, irritated by a blow below the belt from his opponent, Morel retaliates with two consecutive straight left hands in the first round, knocking the Mexican down to the canvas. At the end of 2021, Morel faces American Alante's Fox, who had narrowly lost to Demetrius Andrade in a bout. Eager to finish quickly and return home, Morel starts the fight in an extremely aggressive manner from the first minute. Fox, not expecting such intensity from the Cuban boxer, is forced to focus solely on defense. He shouldn't try to get oversight. This is a 12 round fight. By this time, having completely shed his amateur style and mastered the art of delivering precise punches, Morel knocks down the American with a left hand shot during a clinch in the fourth round. Although Fox, dazed and struggling to recover, expresses a desire to continue the fight, his team decides to stop the match for his safety. In the summer of 2022, contender Kelvin Henderson also finds himself forced to focus solely on defense from the outset of his fight. First round. Well, now there, if he throws it a lot, very limited in his outsided nature of what's unfolding in the ring as Morel again goes to him and fights back. After withstanding the pressure for the first two rounds, Henderson attempts to go on the offensive in the third round, only to find himself overwhelmed by a relentless barrage of punches. In the fourth round, after taking too many hits, the referee stops the fight due to concerns for the American's health. However, Henderson, feeling he hadn't yet met his limit for absorbing punches, is frustrated, believing the fight was stopped prematurely. At the end of 2022, another fight takes place against one of the undefeated prospects, Eidos Yerbosinoli. As the match begins with Eidos launching an attack, the Cuban boxer counters with heavy punches, waiting for him. Starting from the third round with his face covered in blood, Yerbosinoli shows great courage by fighting until the end. Unfortunately, his efforts fall short against the younger Cuban fighter. With his robust health, Morel toys with the fight up until the 12th round, where he finally knocks out Eidos in the final round. Following the fight, Eidos was immediately taken to the hospital, where he had to undergo surgery on his head. In the spring of 2023, Morel faced Brazilian Yamaguchi Falcao, who had previously competed at 200 pounds. The details of Falcao's experience at that weight class are unclear, but in this fight, the Brazilian was unable to make it to the end of the first round, collapsing before it concluded. In his most recent fight, which took place in December 2023, Morel successfully defended his title by defeating Ghanaian boxer Sena Agbeko with a technical knockout in the second round. He's hurt. This one might be over. It's target practice. And this one is over. Currently, David Morel is actively pursuing a fight with David Benavidez, challenging him to a match. However, Benavidez, who recently defeated Andrade, has different plans. He has announced an upcoming fight against the former 175-pound champion, Oleksandr Gvazdik. So friends, that's the current state of Cuban boxer David Morel's career. At only 25 years old, and with just 10 professional fights to his name, Morel's technique and powerful punches already indicate that he has a promising future in boxing. So friends, that's the current state of David Morel's career. If you liked, liked the video, please hit like and subscribe to the channel.
but he's not. So I, I can't blame him taking a fight like this. But this is easy. Last time he went 12 rounds against Lennox Allen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.